let us discuss extended binary tree or two tree in case of extended binary tree or two tree it is nothing but a binary tree obviously and where each and every node will have either a zero child or two children so that is the basic feature of this two tree so this is the diagram of a two tree in this extended binary tree or two tree is a binary tree t in which each node has zero or two children nodes with zero number of child is called external nodes like this one so these are the external nodes we have drawn it using uh, rectangular boxes and nodes with two number of children is called internal nodes and here we have drawn them using circles so external nodes and internal nodes we are having and in this extended binary tree we are having some uh, equations are there properties are there some features are there okay let me go for the count of the internal nodes we are having 1 2 3 4 5 6 internal nodes and if you go on counting we will be having always 6 plus 1 7 number of external nodes and that's why this particular equation is there that is any is equal to a 9 plus 1 that is number of external nodes is equal to number of internal nodes plus 1 so that is one equation you should have to remember questions will be coming on them internal path length li of t so we are going to calculate internal path length and that is for this one path length is 0 from the root node to this particular node number of edges you are traversing that is the internal path length for that particular node so for this 0 for this 1 for this one is 1 for this one is 2 for this one is 3 and this one is 2 again so 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 you are getting 9 so now external path length le for t so now in this case it will be 2 it will be 2 because we are having two edges from the root node to this particular node so 2 plus 2 this is our 3 this is our 4 this is our 4 and this is 3 and this is 3 again so if you go on adding you are getting 21 now you see 9 into 6 into 2 is equal to 21 and that is always maintained so we are going to get another equation here that is external path length is equal to internal path length plus 2 into number of internal nodes so here in this case if you put li is equal to 9 2 is there and ni is equal to 6 you are getting 21 which is matching matching with this le so two equations i have marked them separately we shall have to remember okay now next the external weighted path length so that is another one so here we will be having the weightage so external weighted path length p of the tree t is defined to be the sum of the weighted path lengths that is p is equal to w1 l1 plus w2 l2 plus dot 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 w l n l n now what is this where w i and l i denote respectively the weight and the path length of an external node a9 okay let us go for this example see so these are the weightages are given okay so now what will happen that is 2 into 11 that is 3 into 3 that is 3 into 5 and that is 1 into 2 so if you go on doing you are getting 48 and this 48 is known as weighted path length and here it will be calculated always for the external nodes so these are the features these are the equations to be remembered and in our gate exams or semester exams questions will be coming on them so in the next session we are going to discuss an application of this extended binary tree and please watch that video because that video is in the continuation of this one thanks for watching this one